What's up, gamers? There's been a ton of news dropping the past few days about Disney Dreamlight Valley and the April update, which is now just two days away. There are a couple of sneak peeks for us to go over, and they just dropped the new patch notes today that went into a little bit more detail about the changes that we'll be getting. So let's get my valley ready and talk about everything. I shared in my last video about the new Star Path and that we're confirmed to be getting three new rides. The Star Path will be all about the Disney theme park, so it looks like we'll be getting some new clothing items that look really cool, a Ferris wheel, teacups, and the Dumbo ride, which I think will end up being decorative items. I don't think you'll be able to ride the rides, honestly, but I think it'll still look cool and it'll be really fun. And if you can ride the rides, that would be awesome too. I'm just making room in my meadow for all this stuff. Like I've said before, I want to turn this meadow into like a carnival slash farmer's market type area. So I'm clearing out a bunch of stuff I have over here to make space. It looks like we'll be getting some theme park balloons, a new bench, and green trash and recycling bins that look just like the ones at Disney World. I also saw that there will be a new stall that sells the glowing headbands and backpacks. Again, I don't think this is an item that you'll be able to interact with. I think it's just going to be a decorative item, but I think that's totally fine. I'm excited for it. There's also going to be an It's a Small World themed clock tower, which I love. So I went ahead and moved this clock tower out of my meadow. I think it looks better up in the plaza anyway. Got to collect my moonstones, which I haven't been the best about doing lately, but I want to try and make sure that I get as many of them as I can leading up to the update. I know I'm going to for sure upgrade the star path to the premium, which costs moonstones, but I always do it. I like to have all of the duties available to me at one time and... I want to make sure that I can get everything. The premium shop is also going to have some new items. It was mentioned in the patch notes that they released today. Uh, Prince Eric's Boathouse Dream Style could be one of those items. Um, and it's it also mentioned Dreamlight Infused Animal Companions. So I don't really know what any of that means, but I'm excited to see what it's all about. I'm wondering if this boathouse dream style is like a different house skin for Prince Eric's house, maybe? Uh, I, th I think that would be really cool because I know a lot of people are, uh, have complained about Eric's house being way too big. Actually, you know what? It's probably just a new house skin, like for your house. That actually makes way more sense to me. But I, it would be cool because then you can move your house to the water. So that might be uh, a neat thing. Scrooge's shop will be getting new items too, so I can finally start doing my Scrooge uh, shop hauls again. It's been confirmed that the gliding feature that we saw in one of the sneak peeks is a new energy bonus for when your character is well fed that will allow you to glide and that will come with other bonuses too when you interact with objects like when you're mining, fishing, things like that. You're also going to be able to recover energy anytime you're sitting down in the game, not just when you enter your house, which I think is pretty cool. I'm still hearing a lot of talk about Simba and Nala acting as one character in the new update. I'm still not 100% certain about the validity of this, but from what I understand, they're going to have one set of quests and they'll be linked as a single character. But I think they'll still be able to roam around the map as single individuals. I just can't imagine them having to stay right next to each other all of the time. So I'm not really sure how that's all going to work. I'm excited to find out though and see the Lion King realm because I think it's going to be just so cool. We're also getting Pride Rock, which I'm really happy about. I know exactly where I'm going to put that over in the Sunlet Plateau. That'll be Simba and Nala's home. Now, speaking of new characters, we've gotten some hints that there will be a surprise character added in the update. A lot of people are speculating that it's Tinkerbell, and I do have a whole theory as to why I think fairies in particular are going to be super important to the main storyline, so I might do a separate video on that later, but in one of the sneak peeks, you do see what looks like pixie dust in the shape of Tinkerbell. And in the patch notes uh, that dropped today, it says, it seems like there have been a few more alien sightings in the valley and that we should talk to Buzz. So who knows, maybe Tinkerbell is the unidentified flying object. Another thing I read in the patch notes today is that there will be an Easter themed event going on from April 8th through the 29th called the Extravaganza event. Which sounds to me a lot like the other holiday events. If you remember during Halloween, you could pick up candy buckets and then give the, out the candy on Halloween. 
Uh, and then Christmas time, we found wrapping paper around the valley and we could wrap gifts with it. I'm assuming we'll be looking for Easter eggs around the valley this time, which I just think is super cute. Lastly, another really cool feature that's going to be introduced in this update will be added interactions with your companions. So we're going to be able to take selfies holding them and apparently we're going to have some new items that we can craft for them like their own little houses, feeders, and toys. So that definitely makes companions way more fun and I'm really excited for that. There will be a bunch of bug fixes, but as always, you should be prepared for new bugs because that just seems to be how it works uh, with the updates. We get bugs fixed uh, and then new ones pop up. So just be patient. I feel like the developers have been really good about recognizing bugs and fixing them pretty quickly. All in all, I'm really looking forward to what's to come in the update, and I can't wait to show you guys everything. I'll be back on Wednesday with a Star Path and Premium Shop overview, and I'll probably have new videos up on Thursday and Friday as well, just showing uh, what's new in the game and chatting about everything. Let me know what you're most excited to see in the comments below, and if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss my upcoming Dreamlight Valley videos. Thanks so much for being here and watching and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye!